Hey guys, what is up, Master H2? Okay, wait a minute, I gotta fix that. Oh no! Okay. Hey guys, what is up, Master H2 is here, and welcome to the Captain America Shield Part 2. So what we're doing is we're actually going to be making the star in the center and nothing else. Sorry, I don't have that many supplies in me right now. Besides paper, pencil, and a ruler. Um, so yeah, we're going to take the ruler, and we're going to measure a triangle. We're going to actually make the star David first, and then line that out. So, we're going to make a line here. It's going to be right in the center. Scooch it over a little bit. Actually, let's split this thing in half. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Split this thing in half, alright? Split it in half and make a line straight down the center. Once you do that, you got the beginning. So, mine's in half right now. Line in the center. And that's going to be the beginning of the star piece. We're going to do that on both sides. Or, we're going to do it and cut it in the fourths. When we cut it in the fourths, we don't need anything to measure. Besides, oh crap, that's a little bit off. And then eraser's done for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our line and we're just gonna make a little tiny, 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 tiny line that is at least not even four not even ten centimeters wide. So like that. We're gonna do that five times. We're gonna do that two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten times. And that's gonna take a while. So I'm going to pause the camera, and I'm going to keep working. But, alright, so when we, when we color this with either markers or spray paint, um, i got to redo this line here. When we color this with either markers or spray paint, um, paint markers, paint markers are, I'm really, I'm really used to paint markers rather than spray paint, although spray paint is actually a quicker way, and I don't like quick ways. So we already got the center line here, and, um, yeah. So the next thing we're going to be doing is as soon as we color this and we get the star done, we're going to be able to um we're going to be able to angle this out and then we're going to be able to color it with either spray paint, which is going to take longer. But what we can do is we can use like blue tape blue paint tape and put it around the star and we can just color that all blue in the other pieces where they are unleft. So yeah, I'm going to pause this right now and I'm going to keep working. So right now we got the start of a diamond. But it's going to be a little bit spread apart. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a triangle about like this much in. Make a triangle like this five times. And when that's done, you'll be able to create your shield at the beginning. So we're going to start like right here. It's just a little sketch of what's going to happen. I'm not really, this is not exact, so... Don't get mad at me if it looks bad. That's just the little sketch piece. It's not really going to be that tiny or messed up, but it's going to be clean. Alright, it's going to be clean. It's going to look a little bit skinnier than that. So yeah, we're going to draw our lines in that, and we're going to angle it out and do what we can. So yeah. So I'm going to line this up. Line in the start. Diamond, making a diamond actually takes a lot more, especially when it's a 2D design. So you're going to need a ruler for a lot of stuff. And I'm using a yardstick because rulers are a little bit harder for me, especially on gigantic pieces of paper like um, this paper. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to line it out to the point where it just makes a little piece or a tiny line that will make the shield a shield. And I really want this to be a shield used in like Nerf Wars, and you can cover them in green tape, and you can make the guns look like real guns, and we'll be using a cinematic thing, because I promise to make cinematic stuff with these. And I'm never able to because I don't have that much time on my hands until the summer, or if, until I get everything all situated, and then I can. So we start doing that. So you're going to keep diamonding until you get those five stars you need. And once you get the five stars, you'll be able to, um, well, make your shield beginning. So, I mean, we've already got three here. And then you make this little piece right here like that. And then if you want, you can just redo the center piece. Because that really lines it up. And that's my favorite part about the shield, how it has that diamond look to it. Like that. Yeah, like that. So you're going to keep doing that till you get the five stars, and then, yeah, 
It may look a little uneven because my camera's doing this rather than flat out, so yeah. Um, we're going to keep doing this, and I'm going to pause it, and we're going to keep diamonding, so I'll be right back. Okay, just scrap that entire idea. I screwed up. I got the star decal that we can use, so if I take my pencil, I can flip it over, and all I have to do is cut this piece out right here, and I can just copy it repeatedly, and then we're able to do, it, do that. But I have to, like, shrink it down a bit, so I'll be right back. So, after screwing up repeatedly, trying to make one diamond star, I got a decal. And that decal is what we're going to use. We're going to trace over it to the point where it goes one, two, three, four, five. And I'll be right back when I'm doing that. I'll have to highlight it in like black sharpie and then we'll be good. Alright? Okay. I've been working and I figured out that three by three by three. So three, three, three. This one here and this one here. You can just barely see them. They're tiny compared to the big giant outlined ones. But right here is the center of the first triangle. Right here is the center of the second triangle. And then do this. So we go in a straight line, and I'm going to do one, two, three. Take my ruler, and I go from. I start the little corner here, because I already got two here, so one and two, one and two, so it's one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to take it down to from one, the first line of one, two, and then the f first line of three. Once you do that, I go from there. And I create one, two, three once again, but this time on a line. And this line is another beginning of it. So once I'm done with all of the little triangles, I'm going to color it in Sharpie marker, not color it, but outline it in king size Sharpie, and then you'll be able to see the star itself. So yeah, I'm going to keep doing that. So I have the star done, and I'm going to start outlining. So our first part began over here. And we kept going down. So there's the beginning of the star. It looks a little sloppy because I'm using the giant marker from Sharpie. Otherwise, it's a pretty decent star. So yeah, we got the beginning of the star. And um, that's three by three by three by three, and it's got four inches in the corners, or the five little pieces in the inside of it. And yeah, that took forever for me, because in reality, this is 20 minutes, but it's only eight minutes for this, because I paused it. And yeah, it, the star turned out pretty well. So yeah, bye guys.